Hi. How are you? I'm Cindy, and uh, through Cindy'sHealing.com, this is uh, my weekly oracle re card reading for December 5th. So I welcome and thank you for watching. Today's um, oracle card reading will be for Messages from Your Angels uh, by Doreen Virtue. And I had already called upon the angels to come and speak through um, the cards that give us our messages for the week. The, I'll pull three cards, one for the beginning of the week, one for the middle of the week, and one for the end of the week. So I'm going to shuffle right now. Let's see what happens, okay? And give them a good shuffle. I'm going to cut the deck. And first card is opal. See that? And it says, Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Okay, so the beginning of the week is going to deal with children. So whether you have children or not, um, whether they're in heaven or on earth, um, there's going to be some um, dealings with your children. So, I, I mean, sometimes adults act like children. So anyone childlike, a child or whatever, looks like they're going to be important in the beginning of the week. Now, I don't think that it's you're going to be dealing with problems what I think is they're going to become a priority in the beginning of the week. So whether they're your actual children or somebody else's children or people who act like children. So, um, and it's not going to be a bad thing. They just need to be uh, your attention. They need, they need you, uh, your help. You're in need to help someone childlike or children. So, okay, so I'm going to shuffle and see about the middle of the week. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And see the card that comes up is Rochelle. And it's, the card says, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Okay. You know, our, our inner selves, our intuition and guidance will never steer you wrong. Sometimes we listen to the ego instead of our guidance, and that can interfere. So here, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So you need to make decisions out of, that are love-based. That is, when anything that's love-based, you cannot be wrong. Ego-based deals with hatred, envy, you know, all those negative feelings are ego-based. Uh, you know, self-thought just for you are all ego-based. So if it's love-based. So in connection with the children's card for the beginning of the week and this, it looks like uh, the, the children who are in need trust your intuition because it's going to pay off. There's the prosperity. It's going to pay off when you trust your intuition. Take time. Don't let the ego take over and guide you in and leading this, the children that are involved. Trust your guidance, your knowledge, your wisdom. You have it. You're amazing. You have it. They are your angels talking to you. There's God's, There's that guidance inside of you that's talking to you. And if you follow it, it's going to pay off. So that's what Rochelle is telling us. So here, let me shuffle for the end of the week and we'll see what's going on. Good shuffle. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck now. All right, it's Carissa. Okay, and 
What it says is, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to the next step. Happiness awaits you now. So that's, that's pretty cool because just like anything that ends or one door closes, another one opens, as the old saying goes. And it's so true. If you pay attention, you know, sometimes you might be sad that something ends, but actually it's a blessing because something better, more happiness is going to uh, await you. So obviously, if you follow your guidance with children, it's going to pay off. Whatever problem that you're dealing with in the beginning of the week, that's a childlike situation. You follow your intuition. It's going to come to an end. You're going, there's, you're going to get rewarded. There's pay for this. And happiness is going to come to you right away. So go always surrender your problems and listen to your intuition and guidance before you act. Don't let the ego act. So I'm going to make sure of that. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you come back again next week. Have a glorious, happy week. And uh, I thank you very much. Bye-bye.